Stainless Skull final postponed since November. The girls have coached for them, Bud Skull very all. And this is the coach for team. Nicola Healy is number two there. That's Kira Hurley. Lisa Bergen at number six. Number seven is Marianne Hurley. Marianne Hurley there in midfield at number seven. Number eight is Caroline Kiley. Caroline Kiley, midfield also. Number nine is Yvonne Harrington. Yvonne Harrington, number midfield. Number six is Jennifer Cooney. Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer Cooney, the goalkeeper. Elna Harrington. Ashley Hurley. Ashley Hurley, 13. Brian 14. <coughs> Louise O'Sullivan. Louise Jennifer O'Sullivan. Jennifer Harrington. Orla Dennehy. And finally Rachel Lynch. Orla Dennehy and Rachel Lynch. And, and, and now Bunce Calvera. Number one in goal, Vanessa Prendergast. Vanessa Prendergast is the goalie. Number two, Corey Lewis. Chloe Lewis, number two, in the full back line. Three, Samantha Flaherty. Samantha Flaherty in the full back line as well. Number four, Laura McDermott. Laura McDermott. Number five, Neil Irwin. Irwin. And this will be six, Judy Hackett, Hackett completing the half back line. In midfield, Jessica Power. Jessica Power. And with Number Jessica eight, will be Kerry Hancock. Number nine, Donna Savage. Nine is Donna Savage. Number ten, Kelly Davis. Kelly Davis stepping forward. Number eleven, Claire Flanagan. This is Claire Flanagan, the half forward line. Number twelve. And the full forward line will be Amanda Flaherty. Number thirteen is Mary O'Brien. And Mary O'Brien. The subs will be Sarah O'Sullivan, Emma Horgan, that's Emma, Angela McNamara, number 16 there, Lucy O'Connell, number 17, 18, this will be Jennifer Watson, this is Sinead O'Regan at 19, Number 20, Number 20 is Neve O'Regan. Number 21, 21 Miriam Toomey. And 22, Number 22 Claire Toomey. And last but not least is the mascot. Here he is, Darren Hogan. Yes, Darren likes the camera. And I'm sure he'll be urging his team on very shortly now in this final. So here we are, ready to go in the Skinner Skull final. Dim Rudderskill is the referee. Dim just moving out towards the centre of the field now. So here we are, ready to go for the Skinner Skull final. Once Calvara and Coachford, and the game is underway. And first away, Coachford trying to break forward on the right hand side. A lot of this Coachford team played in the Camogie final back in June. Here they are again today in the football final. Down the left corner, run there by number 12, Julie Allen, tried to get it inside, but cleared out by Bunskogger and driven forward, a beautiful clearance forward there by the centre-back, Judy Hackett. Judy should be first on to this again, but she's some competition, she's got it, trying to make room, oh, well blocked down, but again a second chance for Coach Rubb to get it. Up the middle. Dunce Culver on the attack, driven long into the right corner. I'd say it might reach the end line. Yes, just gets out over the end line. So
So the first chance for Jennifer Cooney to kick this one out. She looks like she's going towards the right. Yes, she is. Sends it down. It's gathered up in the middle of the field. Coming forward. A good shot in. Should be the goalkeepers. It is. She gathers it up. Hand passes it to her defender. Who tries to make room now for a clearance. And she does it. Very well done there by Kira Herlihy. Out this right hand side. And clear out again. And Coates are coming away with the ball. Up in the midfield. About beats there Neva when it's centre back. But Neva's keeping an eye on the ball. Trying to gather it up. Doesn't succeed. Yvonne Harrington there chasing for Coachford. As we have the first attack but cleared away by the defence. Kabunskul Villa comes back again. One inside there. Makes room across the goal. There's a great chance here. Right in front of the goal. But Vanessa Pendergast for the go goal saves it. Averts the danger. Coachford couldn't make the most of the rebound that goes wide and a chance for Vanessa to take her first kick out in this Skeena Skull final. Bunt Skull Vera Yall trying to play it in. Here she goes. She kicks it out to the right. Maybe this is a rehearsed move looking for her. Swing back here. Very nearly and it's gone out over the end line of Jessica Power. It'll be a line ball to Coachford. Just waiting to see who's going to come out to take it. There is a defence. Ball across the goal into the centre of the field. Trying to make room in there. She does well. Number eight there. Great play by Kerry Hancock to relieve it. And number four on the other side. Tara Donovan drives it forward. Number 12. Number 12 there was Julie Allen who got onto that loose ball. Fired a great shot. Great power in it. Didn't have the direction and it's gone wide. So in this early part of this game, both teams competing for every ball. Chances are either end, but no score as of yet. Vanessa Pendergast with the kick out. Bit of movement here on the right hand side, but she goes up to centre. The ball breaks in midfield. And coming out for Coachford. Number nine, Yvonne Harrington mops it up. Feeds number five, Nicola Moyne, and Nicola drives it forward into the corner. This could be one inside, it is one inside, very near the end line, but she saves it. Tries to send it across the goal, backs and forwards, trying to win it. Referee is blowing his whistle, and he's giving a free, and the free will be to Bunskulvera, free out. No, the umpires, in fact, had signaled for a wide ball. A little bit of confusion there, but it is a, a kick out. Vanessa again to try and get Bunskull Verde Yall moving. It's blocked in midfield. It's loose, it's scattered up by number eight, Caroline. And Caroline Kiley has sent it over the bar. The first score of the game has put Coachford into a one point lead. She was onto that ball very quickly. Didn't waste any time, looked up, saw the target, sent it between the sticks to get her team off to a great start. Vanessa Prendergast again with the kick out. Being signalled to come out from the goal as it was a score. Now, she tries to kick, goes a good kick to the right wing. It's going to bounce and it's going to come out here. Loose ball, but it's picked up by number seven, Marianne Hurley. Marianne drives it into the corner, but too far and too fast for her forwards. It's gone out wide again. So, just at the moment, Bunskulvara finding it hard to break out of defence. Middle of the field, Coachford seemed to be on top in these early stages, but there's a long way to go. Kick out comes out from Vanessa Pendergast again. It's broken. It's gone through. Now, this can be added to. It is added to. Coming across is Tara O'Donovan. Tara mops it up nicely. Turns, makes space, solos. Heading back into trouble, but she's made room. Sent it across, but it's one there by Jessica Power. Jessica driving through Soren, breaks through two defenders. Overcarry the ball, says referee Jim O'Driscoll. And the free goes 
to Coachford. And they attack with number eight, Caroline Kiley. Caroline drives it forward. But it, that was going to go into the defence arms, but it's been won. One free here. Looking for somebody to support. Nobody in support. Referee has signaled for a free again, overcarrying the ball, I would say. And the kick off, the free out will be taken. It's sent short and mopped up again and sent back in. But it's on this occasion, it is sent wide. Bright sunny spring day here in Parky Ring, the 1st of March. This game was originally supposed to be played on the 15th of November, so these girls have had a long wait waiting for this final and obviously some big match nerves out there today but it is a great occasion for them and for their schools and both teams trying, trying their best to get this game going good kick out from Vanessa out to the right hand side number seven she finds Jessica Power Jessica adds to it up but this is Tara Tara O'Donovan and Tara a native of Offaly Ned you have to go back to there please the free is given the free is to Bunce Culverda and they try to start another attack a good kick this time from number five Neve Irwin but broken up on the other side by Coachford Coach will come forward a long ball up the middle half broke half there this ball could break anywhere it's collected again very nicely by I think that's Neve Irwin again driving it forward number nine her own team is Janice Savage breaks out the side great ball in there by Kelly Davis in towards the centre but number two Nicola Healy is mopping up very well for the coach for defence sends it out out to number five number five is Nicola Mine and Nicola adds to it looking out the right wing she's found number eight Caroline Kiley Caroline making room making headway solos carries it forward gets it across the goal this is very dangerous it's right in front of the goal oh a great chance but it's going to cross the goal Coachford still have possession. It's number nine, Yvonne Harrington. Yvonne works it in, but in the end, it has gone wide. We up. Slight delay here, but Vanessa takes this kick out. Drops in the centre of the field. Won by Marianne Hurley. Marianne drives the pack in forward, but it's going off to the right hand side and it's gone wide again. So, a very stop start kind of a game here so far. Vanessa getting ready to take the kick. Sends it off to the right. Looking again for number seven, Jessica Power. Jessica wins it, Soros across the field, but she's lost possession. She's lost to Caroline Kiley. Caroline shoots from out the field. And yes, a bit of delay there, but I think it was a point. So coach for now with a two-point lead at this early stage of the first half. Two points, but there's a long way to go. Plenty of time yet for Bunce Culver to get back into this game. So another kick out. Vanessa Pendergast gets ready. Drives it long. It's a good kick out towards the middle of the field. It was blocked, half blocked there by Marianne Hurley. Added to up the wing by number 13 who was Ashley Hurley. But Bunce Culver have it again half clear this ball is going to break around the centre of the field picked up again by Ashling finds Tara Tara the girl who came from Offaly originally sends it long well broken out by the full back Samantha Flaherty got a nice break on that ball but it's fallen into the arms of number nine Yvonne Harrington Yvonne looking for room but fielded again on the other side by Kerry Hancock Kerry tries to make room bottled up a little bit it's getting very tight in there as a once Gulliver the defence try to make room, they do, but it goes up. And who's there? Tara O'Donovan. Winning a lot of possession there at centre back for Coachford. But away come 
Bunce Calvera, it's Jessica Power. She goes across the field, makes room, sends it forward, and it's picked up by 13, Ashton Hurley. Ashton trying to make some room. The referee is called for the ball, and he'll throw it in, I'd say it was a bit tight in there. So, one player from each side. Jim just to get ready, the ball goes up, it's broken, and Jessica Power trying to win possession there. Off her opposite number, Marianne Hurley, it's Marianne wins it, Marianne sends it forward. Number four is Laura McDermott. Laura gets the ball, gets a good clearance, but it comes straight back down from Coltford in towards the goal. Well fielded inside by Chloe Lewis, and Chloe gets a clearance out the field to number four, Laura McDermott. Laura trying to make room, bottled up by the opposition. Says the referee, it'll be a free out. So every ball being hotly contested in this final. Both teams very keen, working hard for the ball and making the other team work hard when they have it. The hand pass is attempted there by number seven, Marianne Hurley. As coach will come forward in around the goal. Number 12, Julie Allen. Can Julie do something? It's near the end line. The referee is looking, but no play goes on. And Bunskulver from y'all clear it, at least partially. But here's a chance back again. Coachford on the far side of the field. The ball is... The referee is called. He's given a free, overcarrying the ball and it's going to be number five, Nia Verwin for Bunce Colvera. A high clearance. It's broken in the middle. It's a loose ball, but they're first on to it. Nicely added to. And out here into the middle of the field is number eight, Kerry Hancock. Kerry trying to make room, and makes room, and drives the ball forward. Field it up there, and number 10, a great kick inside by Kelly Davis. But unfortunately, Kelly, it's tailed off to the right. But a good passage of play there by Bunce Culverda showing that they're well able to play if they get the opportunity, if they get some room. Jennifer Cooney with the kick out. Drop shot but Tara Donovan is there. Tara with the distinctive headband. Sends it off out to the right wing. Going across is Kerry Hancock for Bunce Culverda. And Kerry comes away with it and does very well to send it forward. Bouncy ball, low bouncy ball. Nicola Healy mops it up. Is held, says referee, and this will be a free. And they're onto it very quickly to take the free kick. They spot the player free on the right hand side. But the defence are out quickly. Judy Hackett, and the clearance is eventually made. And here come Von Skullbury again, with a bit of room this time. This is number seven, Jessica Power from midfield, sends it in to number 12, Amanda Flaherty, going right through, there's a great chance here, she's right through, she must score, she scores, what a marvellous goal. They've been under pressure for the start of this game, but Amanda Flaherty, once she got that ball, nothing on her mind but going for goal, a super goal it was. Coachford are not waiting, they're getting on with the game. Down they come forward, the fullback came out with the ball bounced inside and they swung in but sent off to the right wide. So from a, a two point lead that coach would have there now find themselves one point behind. Once called Villa from Yaw with a superbly worked goal. Some great teamwork and hand passing involved in it and eventually finished by Amanda Flaherty for a tremendous goal. So we have a one point game of four or five minutes to go maybe in this first half. Long delay for the kick up, but Vanessa takes it. It breaks around the half back line. It's gathered by Coachford. And it's number six, Lisa Bergen, who won it. But away again. Come to Bunskull for the defence. Bit scrappy at the moment. Players being robbed. Winning possession and losing it. But the referee gives a free and taken very quickly out. This will bounce and it will break. And number eight, Kerry Hancock is onto it. Kerry, a good solo. Sends it in, it's a great ball. And yes, it's gone into Amanda again. We know what Amanda can do. And she's done it again. This player, she's got the ball twice in this game. And on each occasion, she has scored. A brilliant goal and has just added a point to leave it now. Bunce Culverda, a goal and a point. Coach for two points. So a very, very tight game. Both teams working very hard, playing good football. This kicker comes out to the right hand side. Caroline Kiley is onto it for Coachford. She sends it long. Defenders come out, but the ball is broken inside. 
it's a bit untidy but there's a chance here for Coatford but unfortunately for them it's gone off to the right and wide so a great a nice open attacking game here both teams using the ball well it's flowing from end to end as Vanessa gets ready to kick out she does she finds a teammate in the half back line that's added to nicely now Tara O'Donovan is very alert to that breaking ball around the halfway line she's fouled on this occasion and it will be a free to Coachford Dimmer just gives signals he's just calling back the ball to the right position and it looks like Caroline Kiley is going across to take it now can Caroline send this ball in long it's a little bit low but it's breaking through in but almost there but it's broken inside and it says Julie Allen Julie trying to make room very near the end line and the referee has signalled yes it's a 45 last touch of the defender tense moments there for the Bunskull Rural defence coach were trying to walk the score couldn't come up with it it'll be a 45 so a little bit of delay in this 45 here it comes again from Caroline Kiley she drives in oh it's a very dangerous ball right in top of the goal backs and forwards going for it is somebody being held there the referee has a good look at it it's untidy but it's Bunce Culver at tidying it up number seven there is Jessica Power and Jessica cleared it out the field out the far side very near the touch line on the far side but no it's, it's held in play and went back to Nicola Moyne Nicola drives it up the line but picked up again broken play but Coach would have got it this a very dangerous ball right across the goal off a defender, it'll be another 45. So another 45 for Coach where they try to get back into this game. It's only a two point deficit at the moment. But they'd like to lessen that deficit before half time. Jim calls Caroline Kiley out to the right position. She gets ready to take it. Backs and forwards waiting. Drives it forward. It's half cleared out, but it should come out to Caroline. She's on her own here in midfield. But Tara Donovan also coming. Tara calls for it and Tara takes it. Very decisive there. Gets the ball forward to Ashley Hurley. Ashley drives it forward. The ball is half cleared. Only as far as Yvonne Harrington. Yvonne tries to make room, makes room, has a shot. It was very close, but it's been given as a wide. A great chance by Yvonne there. Unlucky for her, went just off to the left. So it stays as a goal and a point to Bunce Gulvera. Two points to Coachford. Vanessa Pendergast getting ready for another kick out. Getting ready to kick out. And she does. Centre of the field. Ball is broken, broken by again by number eight, Caroline Kiley. Caroline seen a lot on the ball, in towards the goal. Oh, it looked like it was going to the goal. It was deflected across. The umpire is signaling for a 45. What a wonderful chance. Caroline fired it in from out the field. For a moment it seemed it was going to an empty net, but deflected across the goal for another 45. So with this possession they've had Coachford, they'll be keen to get a score on the scoreboard. She drives it in long, but into the arms of the waiting defender, tries to make room, but she held. Half it's a half time whistle, Jim will just will cause for the whistle for half time. Jim Rodriskill just getting ready for the second half of this final. Bunskull were a goal and a point, coach for two points. 20 minutes to divide these teams. The ball is thrown in. 
broken around the middle. Coach would have it, and Coach would try to get on the attack straight away. Driven long by Caroline Kiley. Fielded faster by Judy Hackett. Judy trying to make room. Looked like she was pulled to the ground. Referee sees nothing wrong. Play goes on. Across the field, number five, Neve Irwin. Neve tries to make room. Referee blows the whistle. He's giving a free. And it looks like it's a free to go to So the free in for coach for an early chance to get in the game. It's low, it's across the goal. Fielded inside her. By the defender, she's trying to make room. And she gets the clearance. Number four, great hitter by Lauren McDermott. Out the field and added to by Kerry Hancock. Kerry drives along. But coming out here on the right hand side is number three, Kira Hurley for Coachford. Gets an appearance but blocked down the other side to Kerry Hancock. Kerry tries to make room. Blocked down, beautiful block down there by number seven, Marianne Hurley. Referee is at play. It's going to be a free and it's going to be a free to Bunskull Villa. And it looks like Jessica Power is going to take this one. Down the left side. Number eight here. Kerry Hancock was wide open, but into the arms of Tara. Tara Dunham who drives it long for coach. But as they try to get back in this game, the ball is broken up again. And won by number five, Nicola Moynihan, who sends it. Tries to find on the right side, number seven, Jessica Power. Jessica Power drives it long. It could fall in behind. The goalkeeper is waiting. It's loose inside her, but very well done by the defender, Nicola Healy, who drives it out. Now Bunskiller trying to get back in. Very near the sideline. It's gone out over the sideline. I think it will be a defence ball. Yes, it's a ball for Coachford and it's going to be taken by Caroline Kiley. Caroline just getting ready to take this. Jim Rogers will just send her back a little bit into the right position. And here she goes. Drives it high and long across the field. It's broken inside her by number seven, Jessica Power. Jessica tries to make room, sends it long. Ball is breaking in the middle of the field here. A little bit loose, but it comes out here to the right hand side. And out here is number nine, who is Donna Savage. Donna tries to get it moving. Up to number seven, Jessica Power. Jessica on the ball. Bottled up by two players. Unfairly, says the referee, it's going to be a free. A free for Bunskull Villa. Be driven long. In again, in the direction of Amanda. We know how dangerous Amanda is, but it's clear by the defence. And this looks like Kira Hurley coming across north with Nicola Healy. Half cleared. Number 12, it's gone out to number 12. Amanda Flaherty again, and it's gone back to number 8, and it's gone over the bar from Kerry Hancock. Seized on the loose ball with the left foot over the bar to give them another point. Very well taken score by Kerry, which now puts one skull with one goal in front as the kick out from Jennifer Cooney comes out here the right hand side. It's caught and fielded nicely. Tries to go up the line. By number eight again, it is Caroline. Caroline, but she's taking it over the line, says the linesman. Caroline showing great heart to try and get coach removed, but it is a line ball. And it's been taken here on the near side of the field. Number five. By number five was Neve Irwin. Neve sends it down the line. Very nice ball down to Kerry Hancock. Kerry, solos inside, but her is, shot is blocked. Taro Donovan comes out to Gareth from Offaly. Solos, very confident on, on the ball. Now, can she find somebody? She held onto it too long, I think. It's gone loose. The referee will call for this ball, will throw it in. Taro Donovan breaking out of the defence very well there. I can't see it. Coach of the won this ball. Number 13 was Ashton Hurley, drives it forward. And this is number 8 again, Caroline was blocked down and cleared out the field by Bunskull for the defence into the arms of number five Nicola Moyne Nicola tries to drive it long it's Chloe Lewis at the back for Bunskull Villa again she's bottled up very little room in this game backs and forwards been closed down every opportunity still coach for on the attack they have 
two players inside here, but it's cleared up by Jody Hackett. Trying to make room, Jody seen a lot of ball, finds the hand pass, goes backwards. They try to come forward, it's half blocked, and this is Caroline onto it again. Caroline for Coachford, sends in the shot, but just off to the right this time, and it will be a kick out for Vanessa Prendergast. It's about five minutes gone only in the second half, plenty of time yet for Coachford to come back into it, as Vanessa gets ready with this kick out. Kicks it off to this near side, her left. It's bouncing, it's loose, it goes to 13 Mary O'Brien. Comes back in. It's loose inside her, chance for Coachford. It looks like she was held and the referee signals straight away for a free. He's calling for the ball. Julie Allen, I think, was pulled down there. Ivan Harrington. So Ivan was pulled on, but it's Caroline Healy with the kick in front of the goal. Caroline has, unfortunately for her, has sent it off to the right and she's disappointed with herself. But she's playing well, she's keeping her team going in the middle of the field and no doubt she'll get another chance before this game is over. Vanessa, again, Vanessa Prendergast with the kick out, sends it centre field direction. It's broken loose inside her. Now they're breaking here, this looks like Judy Hancock here. On the ball. Sorry, it was Kerry Hancock. Kerry gets the ball, it's going to bounce inside, but the defenders are very quick to react. And it's number three, Kira Hurley in there. Kira with her goalkeeper. Goes back to the goalkeeper, Jennifer Coney. Jennifer tries to make room, does make room. Sends it off out to the right, into the arms of number 13, Ashley Hurley. Very far back in the field, but helps the team to get it out of there. That's number five, which is Nicola Moyne. Nicola trying to make room, hand passes it, gets it back again, hand passes it again to Caroline Kiley. Can Caroline make room? She's soloing the ball, looking for a player inside, drives it long, in behind. The defenders are hesitant, but it's it's broken. Half cleared, and it's going off out to the left wing, where Lisa Bergen should pick it up for coach, but Lisa tries to send it back in. The ball is half broken, out to the right wing there. Julie Allen is chasing for it. It comes into the centre. Number six, Julie Hackett on the ball, trying to make room. Julie, good player on the ball, but she's been battled up. The referee says she overcarried the ball, and it's going to be a free to coach for it and an opportunity to narrow this gap. They're a goal behind. We have about 12 minutes left, plenty of time to score. This time it's taken by Caroline, and she's very disappointed again this time. Caroline Kiley, she's sent it off to the right. But still plenty of time. Coach would have kept the ball down in the one skull for a half for a while if they could only get a score. As number seven there, Jessica Power tries to clear it forward. And there's a break on here. And this looks like Amanda on the ball again. But Taro is with her. Taro Donovan. And Amanda has it again. Amanda the sharp shooter from the first half sends it across the field. It should be kept in. It is kept in. Lovely turn there by number eight Kerry Hancock. Sends it across the goal. It's breaking in there the defence. Have it. It's Tara again with the headband and again the ball is coming to her. She's like a magnet. She's half cleared it. Coach will sure get this ball away. They do. And it's Nicola Moynihan with a great clearance out to the centre of the field. Brought out here to the near side. There's two coach for players here. They should be able to map this up. Caroline was leading it. Sorry, not Caroline. Marianne Hurley, a midfield partner that's gone over the line. So Bunskulver to get the chance to launch another attack. And coming across is number eight, Kerry Hancock. Kerry who has seen an awful lot of ball. And a good kick across the field by Kerry. There's Tara again for coach where the ball is half broken out on the field. Players converging it. It's broken. Picked up. And number five, Neaver, when maps that one up for Bunskulver, tries to send it forward. It's mopped up again on the other side by Coachford. But it is Caroline heading for trouble. She's very determined. She sends it long. Jody Hackett is there to pick up. But no, she's left it behind her. And Coachford have an opportunity here if they can get the ball. They have got the ball. They have got the shot. And they've got the score. A marvellous point there. Number nine was Yvonne Harrington. Had a chance earlier on. She took this one. A beautiful point. 
and keeps this game very, very nicely poised now with 1-2 for Bunskulvara, 5 points that is, and Coates for 3 points. It's a 2 point game. Vanessa Prendergast gets ready to take this kick out, decides to kick it straight down the centre. It's picked up in the centre by number 8, Kerry Hancock, playing a lot of ball in the middle. This is Amanda. We know what Amanda can do. In the first half, she got two chances and got a goal and a point. She still has the ball, looking for room. Cuts in field. Looks like she's been fouled. Referee lets play go on. Hand pass comes out, out to number five, Nicola Mine. And Nicola has room. Can she get her clearance? She's picked up there by Jessica Power. Jessica mopping it up nicely for Bunskulvera. But this attack is broken down again. And yet again, it's Bunskulvera. Kerry Hancock, seen an awful lot of the ball, as is Taro Donovan on the opposing side. Nice hand passing, they've walked it free. And it's Lisa Bergen, can Lisa drive this on? Moving forward, sorry it wasn't Lisa, it was Caroline again, Caroline sends it long. The ball is half broken in there. Backs and forwards chasing it. Referee is blowing the whistle and not happy with that has given a free a free out a bit of confusion there but it is a free out to Bunskulvera and it's taken fire by number 5 Neva when Neva sends it off it breaks on the left hand side maybe a foul there the ball broke yes Damon has stopped the play an accidental collision there as the two players went high for the ball and uh, Damon doing the right thing stopping the play let the player get attention Beautiful sunny day here, but believe me, it's quite cold out there on the pitch. And all credit to these girls for putting on a great display, a great final. The referee throws the ball in. It's broken by number seven, Marianne Hurley. Marianne trying to get coach for moving. She's blocked down. She wins the second one, sends it long in towards the goal. There's no forwards there. It's number two, Chloe Lewis, mopping it up very well there. Back out. And it's number 13, who is Ashling Hurley. Ashling on the ball. Ashling was pulled, says the referee. And it's another free in. And these frees could prove costly because they are giving coach for a chance to get back into the game. Again, it will be Caroline. Caroline Kiley drives it in towards the goal. It'll drop short. It's bouncing a dangerous ball for defenders. It went off a defender and it's gone out for a 45. So the pressure stays on Bunskulvera. As we have about seven minutes, roughly seven minutes left in the game. Plenty of time. A goal for coach would put them in front. Two point lead is often considered a dangerous lead. One score can wipe it out. The 45 comes. Caroline drives it in long again. Again, it's dangerous. It's right in front of the goal. Backs and forwards going for it. It's played out. It's falling. Forwards trying to get it. Trying to break through. Half blocked shot. In fact, it wasn't blocked. It went wide. So a sigh of relief, I'm sure, for the Bunskull Vora defence as the time ticks away. Still a good seven minutes left. Vanessa with the kick out. Sends it high and long up the middle. It's going to bounce and it's going to break. And Carolina and Tara is on for Tara off from the fence. Good footballer Tara, but not finding the forward this occasion. Falls to I think Chloe Lewis there in the cornerback position. Sends it off out. But found there by number six, Lisa Bergen for Coachford. Sending it back forward as Coachford tried to launch an attack. Far side of the field, very tight. Coach were trying to work some space to get the ball out of it. But it's Bunskulver who gets it half cleared across the field there. 13, Ashton Hurley on the ball again. Ashton working very hard today for her team. But also working hard on the other side. I think that's number Neve Irwin. Yes, Neve is winning a lot of ball for her defence there. Coming out. Fouls as a referee and it will be a free. Is Neve going to take it herself? She is, she plays a good cross field ball, an intelligent ball to Kerry Hancock who has acres of space and solos forward, will she turn back, she will, she's now gone into her left, comes back onto her right, sends it in towards the goal, defenders are there, well fielded inside and cleared off out to the right, good defending to send the ball out to the corner but it's come back across the goal, chances are, and doubled on, 
in front of the goal but sent off to the left and wide so the game continues to flow from end to end here Coach for under pressure for a few minutes but then broke down and putting pressure on the other end now the ball is broken here right in front of the goal this is very dangerous this could be it it is it's in the net is it being given yes the green flag is up not quite sure who got the score it doesn't matter to Bunskulvara it's a goal for them for zone now it's 2-2 to Bunskulvara that's 8 points to coach for 3 coach for need scores and they need him quickly they try to work it this is Caroline tries to drive it up it's blocked by Kerry Hancock Kerry nice player goes to our left foot this time sends in field there are two people inside two players inside it falls to Amanda Amanda got a goal in the point first half strikes first time it's long it's across the goal and that'll be a, a kick out for Jennifer Cooney to try and get coach for moving again We're in the last five minutes I would think at this stage the kick out is short but picked up there by five Nicola Moyne and Nicola trying to make room trying to get her team moving again she gets the clearance they're coming looking for it number six came there Lisa came looking for the ball didn't wait for it and gets it forward but this is Amanda who got the goal in the point in the first half now back out around helping her midfield Ashling Herlihy who is number 13 but very far back helping out Coachford as they try to break out of the fence it's very tight in there the referee has blown it's a free to Coachford and a chance for them to advance the play into the Bunskull for a half it looks like Caroline is taking no it's not Caroline number 7 Marion take Marion going for it but it's it's still there the forwards are tending to let the ball run instead of chasing it and it's mopped up again in the back line by number six Judy Hackett Judy is doing great defending there today for Bunskulvera the ball comes in again but harmlessly it's going to run yes just out over the, the end line so kick out to Bunskulvera y'all we must feel confident at this stage time is running out for Coachford but Coachford continues to battle and battle hard looks like a push in the back there it was indeed on Ashling, I think Ashling Hurley out around the half forward line it's going to be taken by Caroline tries to take it quickly drives it a good ball across field could be a chance for Coachford here if they can get onto this ball they have got the ball but held again inside there and a free in again Caroline runs over eager to get on with the game as the time ticks away she gets ready she kicks it it's short but they still have possession they're trying to work it it's inside no forwards inside unfortunately for them and it's run out over the end line so Bunskull for Revial leading 2-2 two -two to 3 points the scoreline may be flattering them a bit the big difference today is they've taken their chances they had possession and when the ball went down they tended to score here comes Judy Hackett clearing the ball out for Bunskill River. it goes out to number 11 Claire Flanagan Claire trying to get the ball forward but here comes out from the fence great defending by Kira Hurley Kira on that occasion Kira's, no it's breaking for Tara Tara's onto it will she go forward yes she realises the time is running out trying to make something for her team hand passes it across to number 7 Marianne Marianne Hurley looking for the hand pass but deemed to have overcarried the ball once Culvera get the free it's driven long Amanda goes for it it's broken this is Tara a good player can she make a difference in this game no the referee says picking up and driven long by Niamh Niamh Irwin into the waiting arms of number 10 Kelly Davis Kelly with a chance and that I would say is a winning a final goal a tremendous finish by Kelly Davis once she got that ball looking thoughts and buried the ball in the back of the net so Coachford continue to battle try to bring it forward this is Tara Donovan has lost the headband but it's still Tara trying so determined great determination being shown by Tara and Coachford this is Caroline on the ball Caroline worked so hard as well for her team send the ball on can they get on this and get a score 
the ball is going to break inside her this could go anywhere the referee is looking at it I'd say he might throw it in he's throwing the ball in players gather Marianne Herlihy is there and Neve Erwin Marianne gets a knock down it's going to break to Caroline Caroline and Neve battling for the ball Caroline Kylie again across she'll pick it up can she get this ball across the goal she can and she does it's going to drop at the far post but it looks like a defender it looks like Judy Hackett again mopping up she's cleaned a lot of ball out of this corner today but this time she's stopped by number nine Yvonne Harrington unfortunately a foul given against them and it's a free out to Bunskulvera taken very quickly and very smartly to the right hand side to number eight Kerry Hancock Kerry turns to her left foot drives it long but it's picked up by Nicola Healy sent forward to Marianne Hurley Marianne drives it long another chance for coach if they can keep attacking this ball it's breaking inside it's number six Lisa Berg can Lisa get a shot here she's blocked she tries again great determination here she's looking for a teammate finds one the ball goes across the goal the sun in the keeper's eyes but it's blocked by a defender yes it's Jody Hackett again Jody clearing so much ball here out out it comes to number 12 Julie Allen, Julie sends it in and it's in the back of the net a late late goal for Courtford a late goal for Courtford sent in by Julie Allen so the game continues and uh, I'm afraid that was it the final whistle it's glory the satisfaction, the victory goes for Bunskulvara. They have won this game 3 2 to 1 3. But all credit to Coachford. Very determined team. They worked hard. It just in the end came down to Bunskulvara when they got their opportunities. They took them with some wonderful goals, especially. But all credit to Coachford for making this a very exciting final. But unfortunately for them, no victory. Bunskulvara, the winners. 3-2 to 1-3.